Wow. Okay. So much silence. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, Wendy. Good evening, Diego. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Susana and Wendy. And it's so sad. We're Good just evening. three so far. Is it because today is payday? Today is the finish morning. I'm sending many, a lot of reports for all the operation for this month, all the money, all the, all the, all, all the everything. Well, mm -hmm. that's the way it is. I guess Susanna is doing the same. You're closing the month on accounting. You're closing the month. Norma, yeah. Norma, I think she works in accounting too. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Diana. Welcome, welcome. Teacher, but I, I can, I. I can't mm -hmm. uh, uh, at cien, come on, <laughs> cien por ciento cien person. You cannot participate a hundred percent. Okay. Yes, the, but it's uh, in, in group. Yes, teacher. Understood. Now we are five. Okay, well, it is what it is. So let's get started. Diana, how was your day today? Uh, it was fine, teacher. I work from home today, so that's better for me <laughs> because I'm a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I was all day in interviews and assessment centers. And I just ended my just finished one hour ago. Wow, an hour ago you just finished interviewing people. Uh, I finished sending the mails. I have to send every day. The emails. Mm -hmm. the emails. Yes. Mm. Wow. Sounds yes. like a lot of work. Yes, I'm tired, and it's only I don't know even. <laughs> Which day is Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Tuesday, but it feels like, I don't know, forever. So yes. is one link hiring? Uh, Web help, no. <laughs> Web help, sorry. Uh, at the moment, no. Uh, we are facing a hiring freeze. Mm -hmm. Because they are making some restructures. A hiring yeah. freeze. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you you have stopped. I don't allow last, last yeah. 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 Conversation. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I, I do understand. Yeah. But I I'm wondering if that's the right meaning. Uh, the right term. But but anyways. Um. So hiring is frozen. No more hiring. And um. So what kind of interviews were you conducting? No, because I I don't hire for external. Aha, uh -huh, external. Yes, I In, do internal. Internal process. promotions. Yes. So that that we are doing it right now. Awesome, that's better. So I guess many of the 
people that you interview, you already know them? No. No? Okay. No. Uh, we are only a group for of now 10 people. We started with five only in my group. And it is a company of over, I don't know, 5,000 of people. 5,000 people. Wow. Yes. All of them for, from, from Web from, the, from all the sites, yes. Because wow. there are five, five sites now. Five. Yes. Man, you're growing really fast. Yes. It's really good. Is there like a final filter from from the United States or something like that? Um, there is uh, in the company. It is not only client from United States. I think there's only like five accounts that are from United States, but the other are from. Uh, South America, South America, and, South America, and really? from Europe. From Europe, wow! Yes, because Web Help is European. Oh, okay. Yes. I got you. Give me just one minute. Sorry, parent duties. Okay. Hey, Mario, welcome. Okay, so yeah, well, it, it's awesome to work in a in a global company, uh, but it's stressful as well because you have to meet higher goals. Let's say there's more responsibility. I think. Yeah, that yes. is what it is. Okay, well, we are eight, well, seven now. Welcome, Marilena. Welcome, Mario. Uh, this sounds, this looks so empty. But anyways, so we are eight, I mean, seven by now. Where is, the yeah, Norma is here as well. Okay. I'm gonna do the attendance. Um, there's that's what is next. So let's do it. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda, Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel, Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez, Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel, Manuel Antonio Palma, Marilena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Good evening, present. Excellent. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present, teacher. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda, Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa, Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González, Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present, teacher. Excellent. Okay, as usual, I would like to start with an open question. Um, just any question, so we can practice for a little bit. Nah, that this sounds too simple. Let's see, what do you usually? Okay, this is interesting and it's gonna help you practice in. Okay, what was, be honest, what was the last movie you saw? What was the last movie you saw? Last movie I saw, for example, last movie I saw was called The Mule, The Mule with Clint Eastwood. 
I at first, you know, I saw the the image of the picture of the movie on 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 HBO Max because I I mean, if you haven't tried HBO Max, it's really good. There's a lot of movies on that platform, especially if you're a millennial or if you live with an ex generation, you know, someone from the ex generation. There's a lot of old movies. There are new movies as well, but the thing is that I saw this this one. It's called The Mule with Clint Eastwood. He was the director of the movie, so I was expecting something like, I don't know, uh, El Gran Torino. I think was the name of that movie, because I saw the trailer right before I watch a movie. I always watch the trailer, so um, I saw it, and I like that. Actually, it's a retired man, you know that decides to to do something because he runs out of money he runs out of money he works on gardening he's very old and the thing is that all his family hates him his ex-wife hates him his daughter hates him because he's always like oh yeah i will be at your wedding and he doesn't show up for the wedding of the daughter Man, so she hates him a lot. The thing is that at the end of his life, he discovers a new method to make money, a lot of money, and it's uh, moving drugs for some gangsters from state to state. So he starts being a mule and starts getting interesting, you know, because he makes a lot of money. But the thing is, and something that calls my attention about these movies is, is I don't know if you have seen Breaking Bad. I don't know if you have seen Breaking Bad. So I always wonder, how can you clean a million dollars? I mean, how can you clean a huge amount of money? And I always thought the same. What I will do, what I will do is don't change the way I live. Just continue having my debts continue having the loans that I have and paying them. I can stop working. No, I couldn't stop working. I have to continue making money, but now I will have a way to, you know, I will have a way to pay things without worrying of not having money, if that makes sense, you know? So I don't know. It sounds like difficult, but uh, for me, it, it, it's easy to clean money. So it's a great movie. It's called The Mule. I really recommend you to watch that movie. That was the last movie I saw. Hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is give you five minutes the most. Eight minutes is 8.17. So I'm going to give you eight minutes exactly starting right now. What was the last movie you saw? You have to tell me. And since we are just eight, I will give you one minute each so you can explain your movie, okay? So we have five minutes. Go ahead. Eight minutes. One, two, three. Let's go. Stay here and write whatever you can. Teacher, the last movie that I remember uh, watch is, um, is Hidden Figures. Figures, yes. I didn't and, get it. I didn't get it. So um, right, right now you have seven minutes. Try to make up your ideas, Marilena. Marilena? I try. <laughs> okay, write down write down your ideas and then you will start talking, okay? 
Okay. Okay. Let me chance. <laughs> yeah, please take some notes. You have seven minutes, six minutes.
Okay, just one minute. Okay, I think we're ready, so let's get this started. Who said me first? Uh, it was Marilena, right? Oh my God, Wendy. Um, yes, Wendy. You had to talk about the um, last movie you saw. Okay, just to make it funnier. Let's everybody, let, let's talk about different okay. movies. Different movies that you may have seen. And let's define X generation movies and Y generation movies. So Xennial movies, millennial movies. Diana? <laughs> what do you consider a, a, an Xennial movie? No idea? No, really? <laughs> okay, Norma. Now, by the way, who, who are Xennials? Xennials are the generation that was born. Maybe Pedro Infante. I, I forgot about that numbers. Bet you forgot about the dates. Well, Xennials, yes. Xennials were born between the 60s and the 80s, between 1960 and 1970. 79, sorry, 1960 to 1979. And then we have millennials from 1980 up to close to the 2000s. So if you think about it, what movies do you think uh, Xennials used to watch considering they were born between 1960 and 1979? Grace. Grace? Phantom in the Paradise. The Phantom in the Paradise. Wait, the Phantom of the Opera. Well, yeah, it's a musical. Yeah, it's a musical. Uh huh. The Phantom of the Opera. Ah yes. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, um, Pedro Infante. You said Pedro Infante. These movies, I think, so is Senyal's movies because they are Senyal movies. Uh huh. My mom see this movie. And My mom watches. I watches this movie. Hmm. And whole family. And the whole family. That's funny, yeah. because my kids, my kids like to watch, uh, Los Tres Chiflados. The three stuffs. My mom don't like it, and my grandma say is uh. And I don't know, a bad person <laughs> don't don't like it. They don't like the Los Tres Chiflados? Yes, in my family, they don't like it. My mom and my grandma. <laughs> Just uh, Cantinflas? Uh, I guess. Cantinflas, yes, yes. Pedro Infante, many, many, Cantinflas, many. Jorge Negrete. Oh, my God. Um, I don't remember. There are so many, but th those are Mexican movies, right? All of those, because back in the 70s, I guess, here in El Salvador, it's like the first television that used to come here, TV shows or, or movies were from Mexico in black and white. Interesting. Okay, now what are millennial movies? Just say the name of the movie. If you remember the movie, let's remember the actors or actresses. Millennials, Avengers. Oh my God, wait, <laughs> Avengers? Huh. So we're talking, there is a gap. There is a gap. Because Avengers are from the 2000s, right? 
So if you were born between 1980 and 2000, it's like 20 years. And you, so you were like 20 watching movies, Avengers. Yeah, yeah, that's for millennials. What about Fast and Furious? It's old generation, teacher. <laughs> Fast and Furious is for all generations. Started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Diana? I think it's millennials. Well, it started from millennials, yes, but it continues. <laughs> it Oh, yes, it started on millennials and it continued yeah, to the Z generation. And nowadays, this is funny, but nowadays we have a lot of Brian's, a lot of what? A lot of um, uh, what's the name of the guy? Oh my god, Toretto. No, but the name, but the name, <laughs> I wouldn't name a kid Toretto. Hey, Toretto, come here, and Dominic. Dominic, we have a lot of we have a lot of Dominics, a lot of Brian's, right? That's crazy. I mean, it, it, and it's true, and it's true because I had a lot of friends named Elvis, you know, who are really old now. <laughs> Elvis, I have a lot of uh, Diego's, right? Diego's Armando's, for example, because their father, you know, their parents were uh, fanatics of Diego Maradona and so on, right? Jose Luis, Jose Luis, El Puma. Jose Luis Perales, teacher. Jose Luis Perales, that's right. So, who you admire, you know, you name your kids. Okay, movies, movies, movies. The Titanic. Titanic. Is that X generation or Y generation? No, I think it is millennial because it's from the 90s. That's a millennial movie. And the cursiest, the cursiest movie I have ever seen uh, on the millennial range is the notebook yes <laughs> and i have seen it like 50 times and i still cry <laughs> i'm just kidding no but i <laughs> before she used to force me to watch the notebook now when we want to watch a movie together i go like i don't know the notebook <laughs> it's just like <laughs> again yeah I like it. It's just that he reminds me of my uncle, one of my uncles. Noah. Noah reminds me of one of my uncles. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What about Robin Williams? Carlos, do you know who's Robin Williams? Who was Robin Williams? Patch Adams. Oh. What? Actor or the yeah. singer? Or... Oh, good question. Yeah. Be careful. Robbie Williams is the singer. Robin Williams is the actor. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, I just know uh, oh. the actor. Okay. No, the, the, the singer. The singer. Sorry. Uh -huh, you yeah. don't know the actor? You don't know the actor? Maybe, oh. but I, I am bad with the name of the actor. The name of the movies. Yeah, mm -hmm. My favorite movie uh, from Robin Williams is one that he played with uh, the, the, this, this black guy, um, Robert, no, no, wait, Downey Jr. Mm. It's not Robert Downey Jr., it's the other oh. Downey. Mm -hmm. But the black guy, what dreams may come. Cuba, Cuba Downey movie? Jr., Cuba Downey Jr. Yeah. Wendy? Other movie for <laughs> Death Poet Society. I don't know. Death Poet the... Society. Uh, yes. This movie is amazing. That's an amazing movie. Repeat. That's an amazing movie. That's an amazing movie. That's an amazing movie. Yes. An amazing movie. Yeah. Wendy? Forrest. <laughs> I remember. Forrest Gump. Okay. Forrest, Forrest, Gump. Forrest Gump. Millennials? Or X generation? Uh, millennial? Okay. Millennials because of the time when it was released, when it was yeah. on the theaters, right? So we watched it on but theaters. But it is from X generation. The story goes about 
success, I mean, um, successes, yeah, parts of history on the X generation. War. Vietnam. Yeah, I mean, wow. Man, I love that movie because he goes in every single part of history. Every yeah. important part. Okay. Hmm. Now, just to finish, what is your movie recommendation? What is a movie that you heard you must watch in your life? You cannot die without watching that movie. Really? Yeah. Pinocchio? The Lion King. <laughs> the Lion King? Yes, you have to watch The Lion King. Mario, Mario, what? You can die. Fiction or, or real life? Movie. What? A movie, Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim? Hmm. I don't know, Rick. It's like a movie that will will dictate your life, you know, a movie that will mark that will be something meaningful for your life. So people go like this is my list of movies that you have to watch before you die. It's like you must. For example, in my case, La Vida Bella. Beautiful. Yeah. La Vida es Bella. It's like, you have to watch that movie. The Passion of Christ. The Passion of the Christ. That was a, an amazing adaptation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, how to do translate the child of Pijama, <laughs> the riots. <laughs> oh, yeah. The oh, little boy. Up. The little boy <laughs> in white stripes. Yes. In the white stripes pyjama, 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 something like that. Yeah, th that was a good one. We continue talking about World War II. No? No? Norma, Norma? Wait, Norma? The pianist? The pianist. The pianist. Oh. World War II. Teacher or yes. Schlinder. Schlinder. Children's oh. Children's I can remember list. <laughs> Schindler's list. Schindler's list. Menos mal que me la llevo de alemán yo. Yeah. Children's list. That that's a great movie too. A great story. Okay, and so on. So these are movies. Guerra that... de Gigantes, sorry. Guerra de Gigantes. Well, I don't okay. remember. The style yeah. of music is beautiful. <laughs> okay, now for millennials, definitely. Um, uh, this guy, Will Smith, The Pursuit of Happiness. The Pursuit of Happiness. You must watch that movie. Yeah. There are not so many movies that I can think of right now that were recently released. Um, La Razón de Estar Contigo was... It made me cry. If you like dogs and, and cats, you know, animals, definitely you have to watch that movie. Okay. So You like to cry, teacher? I like crying. I'm a, I'm a sentimental man. I have to admit it. It's just that... I have to cry somehow. Mi abuela salía a decir, better out than in. Mejor afuera que adentro. So if you, and at least, and she, she used to tell me, you have to cry at least once a month. And I was like, why, why am I going to cry once a month? Why, why do you want me to cry? <laughs> she was, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. She had that power. Tenía ese poder, la vieja. Llegaba, me venía a visitar desde Santa Ana. Así le decía la vieja. Vieja, le decía, vine. Venía a visitarme de mi tío y, y yo de, de joven, 
era muy hacendoso, ¿no? Me ponía a hacer la limpieza y todo. Y rápido, anécdota rápido. El poder de las abuelas. Y jamás se me olvida. Una vez llegó y estaba pero se ajolotado. Hijo, vení, sentate. No, espérate, voy a hacer la limpieza. Vení, ¿qué te pasa? Me dice. Y yo, nada. Sentate. Voy a hacer la limpieza, viejita, espérate. Sentate. Y me, dice, y me puso la mano en el hombre y me dice, ¿qué te pasa? Y yo, nada. No me pasa nada. Man, I started crying. I don't know why. <laughs> She was like, you have to let go things and everything. Right now. And I was like, why am I crying? <laughs> you know, that's really funny. But sometimes you don't know. A veces no sabes cómo andas hasta que encontras a alguien que realmente te quiere. Que esa es otra cosa que no sabes. O no te das cuenta. Quien realmente te quiere. Y hasta que esa persona te toque el corazón con... Este sí, vea. O esta sí. So, okay. That was just an announcement. Let's go with Marilena. Marilena, talk to me about your favorite movie. Si ¿Sí, vieron la vida de Bella. Ajá. Uh -huh. Come on, Marilena. Talk to us. My favorite. No, no, no. no. The last movie you saw. Um, the last movie... I don't, rem I don't remember. Maybe the Friday uh, with my partners for the anniversary in my job. We watching um, hidden, hidden talent. Talent. Sí, talent cool. It's a movie about three uh, mathematical uh, women. Women the jobs in NASA um, before the, the computers. Uh, she, three, three, three women are, are the computers. She uh, made the, the mathematics for the travel uh, to the moon. It's amazing movie. Is the is the last I remembered. I see. Um, I don't remember. How is the other movie? Uh, you see, with my mom in theater in my class and in my in my home is about the este hombre que me <laughs> Bruce Willis. Mm. But I don't remember Paradise algo, but it's new. Uh, we see in Netflix, I think so, but I don't. Uh, after watch this movie, and this is the is the movie in the. No sé cómo se dice asesinato. Okay, um, the murder. Uh, the murder in Honolulu, in. A conspiration of uh, the narcotraffic. Okay. Is... Wait, wait, wait. Talk to me about um, this last movie that, that you saw. Any any of the last movies you saw? Just one. Um... You said Death Wish. <laughs> Death Wish is with um, Bruce Willis, right? Uh -huh, the Willis. Mm -hmm. is, the, is the last in the sun. El domingo. On Sunday. Okay. Sunday. Okay. Let's review. Thank you. Marilena. Death Wish. That's the name of the movie oh. on, on Netflix. Death Wish. Deseo de Muerte. Wow. Okay. It looks interesting. It looks interesting. Okay. So let's see. The Friday. On Friday, when you say days of the week, right? On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Friday. Hidden talents, hidden, hidden talents. Three math women that jobs in NASA here. We have to correct something. The movie is about three mathematicians. Three mathematician movies. Let me see. Yeah, three mathematician movies. I mean, women, women, three mathematician women that work day 
right? That work in NASA. At NASA, in NASA. At NASA, okay, work at NASA. Like this. So three is about three mathematician women. It's about three mathematician women that work in, at NASA. Okay, and they plan the trip to, to the moon. They do the calculations. They do the, cal the, the calculation. She, three women, work at NASA. Aquí había una cosa, Elena, que nos estamos equivocando con los sujetos. Y el reemplazo de sujetos por nombres propios. Piensen eso. So, si yo digo, if I say Diana, Susana, Norma, and, and Carlos. Ah, they. They. Okay. What if I say Diana, María Elena, Carlos, and Norma? They. Mm -mm. You are there. Us. Uh -huh. Us. Uh -huh. We or us. Right? Como sujeto, we. Como objeto, us. Okay? We want to talk about us. Queremos hablar de nosotros. We want to talk about us. For example. Okay. Um, I, amazing movie. It's an amazing movie. It's an amazing movie. <laughs> it's an amazing movie. What is the last one I saw? I saw. So we were talking about past. So C should be saw. I can't remember what was the last movie I saw. Great job, Marilena. Thank you very much. Who is next, Marilena? Mm, let me see. Carlos? Of course. Okay. Carlos Alfredo, what's, what was the last movie you saw? Thank you, Maria Elena. <laughs> um, <laughs> the last movie I saw, oh, I don't remember as well, but um, just go with it. Just go with it. Is if um, the, the fake woman, the, the fake wife, pardon, <laughs> sorry. The Fake Wife, uh, with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's not only a funny movie, uh, but also it's a romantic movie. Um, first, um, the, the guy uh, was with a big nose, and he was ugly. But uh, um, but I, I don't remember as well if he if he had money, but he realized that the the woman that he was going to get married uh, said a lot of things about his nose and something like that, and he he felt bad. He didn't. Uh, get married with her and then he changed he changed everything he repaired his face and but he was a big liar because he, uh, he was um he was con conquist uh, how do you say conquistar he wanted to conquer conquire he wanted to conquire a lot of women, but he said that he was married, but he wasn't married. Uh, because, I don't know, because in the past he was, uh, tenía como un trauma. <laughs> and uh, so, um, but the point is that uh, the fun is it's funny because uh, he he felt in love of a woman, but um, he he had he had uh, he had been telling her that he was married, but in reality uh, he wasn't. So uh, 
he said uh, to his assistant to, to pass for a fake wife. Uh, and they travel to Hawaii and the, and the assistant had two, two children and so was uh, funny but at the end he felt in love of his assistant yeah he realizes uh -huh. he realizes that he's in love with her that she's beautiful yes of course it's Jennifer Aniston I mean Yes, yes, yes. That's that's the ex the ex girlfriend that I really miss. You know, I miss her. Anyways, so yeah, a great job, Carlos. You spoke a lot in past. No errors, no mistakes. I like it. Good job. <laughs> okay, good job. That's a nice movie. That's a funny movie. There's another actress, another famous actress on that movie. I had forgotten. Yes. And, and the other girl, I I think so, Palmer. No, there's a girl that was like well she's a woman now of course uh, many men were in love with her she's amazing she's gorgeous she's beautiful um, yes Even, I, I don't know the name i don't know the name but the reddish nicole kidman uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah nicole kidman is in that movie too okay just go with it okay Good job. Who is next, Carlos? Uh, Mario Villeda. Cool. Mario, talk to us about the last movie you saw. Mm, right. The last movie I saw. The Last Samurai. Tom Cruise. Ooh. Uh huh. What is it about? It's a British captain or American, American, American captain mm -hmm. uh, in the feudal time in Japan. So he goes to the front and he's captured for the Japanese, uh, how do you say, uh, samurai, samurai Japanese. Mm -hmm. And so they they learn the culture the, the art the art of the samurai fighting and mm -hmm. after that he be, become became became a, a samurai too and fight for the honor of the partner samurais oh yeah that's it yeah, yes that's it. Does he die? Like, um, I uh, guess no. No, he does. He doesn't die, right? No, he doesn't die. No, I can't no. remember. But, okay, repeat with me. Captured. Captured. Good. Now do a D. As an Adel final. Captured. Captured. Very good. And then you say Japanese samurai. Japanese samurai. I believe there are Korean samurais as well. Korean samurais. I don't know. I'm not sure. Japanese samurais. And the past of fight. Fought. Fought. So he fought. He fought for uh, with this group of samurais. Good job. That's simple. Good job, Mario. Who's next, Mario? Hello, Mario. Um, I don't know who's missing. Oh, <laughs> uh, everybody's missing. Not Marilena, um, no, nor Carlos Alfredo. Okay, Diana Elizabeth. Diana Elizabeth. Mrs. Martinez. Okay, tell us about your favorite, the last movie you saw. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, the last movie I saw. It was Sister Act. I saw it on the weekend. And it is a movie from the 1992, I think. From it's the 90s? Starring by, yes, from the 90s. It's a starring by Whoopi Wolver. Uh, and it's about a singer that works on a casino. Uh, but she was dating a 
her boss uh, and he was married. So when she decided to leave him, uh, she saw it killing a man because he was an, a gangster. So she runs to the police and they put it, put her on the witness protection and it is in a convent. So she needs to act like she is a nun, nun, yes. Uh -huh. And that is really hard for her because she is not religious and she is really rebel and not conventional. But at the end, she became friends with the nuns and it started a chorus that became really famous. And because of that, her ex finds her and tries to kill her but the nuns protect her and also the police and that's the end wow but it's really good i i, I, I had I forgotten when i was a kid but i i didn't remember it at all <laughs> the cars the cars man i had forgotten about what the movie was about because I, most of all you remember whoopi wolver from the ghost, ghost. from ghost <laughs> My kids, my kids love that movie. Just my little girl, you know, she goes, she goes like this when they, when the shadows take the the bad guy, you know, and she gets scared on that scene. But it's a, it's a great movie. Okay, hey, it's starring, it's starring, it is starring, I don't know, Whoopi Wolver. It's starring Whoopi Wolver. It's starring Whoopi Wolver. You said something else. Okay, um, she became friends. Uh, hmm, I think that sounds weird. It's they be they became they became friends. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, it sounds weird. She became friend of her. She became her friend. Sounds better. She be, oh, she be, she became, she became their friend as well. Okay, and the pronunciation of chorus chorus. Not a usual word. Chorus, 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 yes. chorus. Okay. Good job. Okay. I, I wasn't expecting that from you. <laughs> I was expecting... I don't, I don't see a lot of movies. I prefer to watch series. But what's your favorite gender? On um, TV shows. TV shows or, or movies? Huh? What's your favorite gender? Science fiction, horror... I don't have a uh, nah really a favorite no only for books I prefer horror but for movies I think comedies comedies okay Jim Carrey or uh, Adam he, Sandler Adam Sandler <laughs> yeah the black humor yes. black humor I okay. also saw the movie that Carlos talked about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I have seen all Adam Sandler's <laughs> movies as well. My kids love Adam Sandler for some reason. He hasn't come up with an uh, with another great movie. I don't know why. No. Yeah. Okay. Dianita, one more person. Who is last? Okay. Um. Susana. Ah, oh, no, she started late. Right? Mm -hmm. Norma or Wendy? Norma. Okay. Okay, the last movie I saw is um, The Song of Music. Uh, it is about recently ordained Nu, who is sent to take care of seven children, children of a uh, retired uh, general of the, of the Marine, of whom they have uh, had many governesses, but they don't accept them because they want to spend more time with their father. Maria is the name of the new and Christopher Plummer is, uh, is the, the general of the Marine. Um, he makes a great participation. Uh, he wins uh, the affection of the children, even the father himself. He teaches them to enjoy life, like uh, children through physical games, such as uh, ball games, Puppets teaches them to the sing. It is a somewhat musical film. 
the plot focuses on ancient Austria before the German occupation, where at one point they asked his father, has a retired marine, they asked him to present himself to fight. But before that, uh, they flee with their family through the mountain. They mentioned that it is a film based on the real life of the bomb trap family. You can see a, a beautiful view of the different place of Austria and their buildings or clothes. Only that teacher. You know what? I'm gonna watch that movie that's from 1965. Right? Yes. 1965. Baby boomers generation. But one thing. And and Carlos, I don't know if you remember Diego Barrio, uh, but Transformers are from 1980. I was born in 1982. And I saw Transformers. So there's a gap. People who was born, who were born in 1970s, you know, they saw this movie. And this movie was like a classic for them their entire life. So there's a gap of five, 10 years back. Another example, the Beatles. If you were born in the 80s, you love the Beatles, most likely, right? Yep, so that there's a generational gap. I'm gonna watch this movie, The Sound of Music. And is it a, is it a musical? Yes, it's a musical teacher. Julie Andrews, as, a, as an old woman, she, she was on a movie. She was She's on- She's Mary Poppins too. She's Mary Pop, is she Mary Poppins? Yes. Wow. Oh, I know. She was with Anne Hathaway. She was the queen. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I had seen her somewhere. Wow. Wow. Long memories. Okay. Good job. So let's continue. Tonight we have to talk about... Um, millennials uh, versus the X generation. So what I'm gonna do is very simple. I will continue making you read and then you will prepare something for the class as usual, or we may watch a movie. I mean, um, a short video, <laughs> give me just one second, okay. So talking about millennials versus the X generation, there is a difference, a difference between uh, Generation X and Generation Y. What is it? You have to picture the context in which the Generation X people were born. First, let's read a little introductory text. So here we go, that's too red, sorry. Let me do this smaller. Can I do it? Okay. Too red, oh crap, sorry guys. I made a boo-boo. So again. There we go. So I will need your help to read this in a minute. Great. Great. What am I doing here? Hold on. Okay. So the different ways that people do things. I wish I could make you participate with your tools on Zoom. If you know how to use these tools on Zoom, go ahead and do it, okay? So for example, if I say the word trace down, 
and you don't know what it means, you can just scratch it. Okay, you can grab a little line from your tools and scratch down that word. If I say, for example, the word ricin, okay, if you don't know a word, just scratch it down. Hope you got it. So we continue. God, am I sorry, guys? My bad. That's better. A little bit better. Okay, so really quick, the difference. The different ways that people do things respond to situations and address them can be traced down to generational differences. Differences. In recent years, the issue of generational distinctions has risen bring in to the lime light the existence of names most people never knew of as such most people still will not tell what's meant by gen x gen i'm sorry gen y gen x or baby boomers or millennials on the same note, the two most confused generations are Gen X and Gen Y. To separate the two, this post sought to find out the distinct features that set apart Generation X from Generation Y. This will be through their definitions shaping events, the origin of the terms, and other factors. Any new words? Advanced one students? Oh my God, what happened here? Uh -huh. Any new words, advanced one students? Uh -huh. For me, there, there are some new words like limelight, In context, let's see. Generation distinction has risen, bringing to the limelight the existence of names. Okay, so this this is another way of saying to make it clear, to make it more clear, clearer, to make it clearer. Uh huh. Okay, so they based this classification on the ways we do things, how we respond to some situations and address them. Uh, that's basically the way we dif differentiate from other people. Now, for me, guys, let me tell you, this is not true. I mean, why? Because there are exceptions. One of my sons is the exception. He doesn't behave like every kid he's smarter he he's sentimental but at the same time he's very determined so that's not common for his generation let's say um something out of the common as well in in the millennial generation would be me for example i i liked reading I, I used to lot to read a lot as a as a teenager. I like to read a lot. And that's not common, right? For my generation, that is not common. Okay. So this study of the differences between generation X and generation Y, these differences are determined by the manners, you know, how people live their lives from each generation. Does that make sense?
Hello. Anybody there? Hello. Okay. Well, that's the intro. Let's move on. Let's continue with the idea. So let's talk about the meaning of Generation X. What is the meaning? Why do we call them Generation X, Generation Y? And we're gonna start with the Xers, the X generation. So I need your help, Wendy. Read or what? Please. Okay. Um, meaning, meaning of Generation X. Generation yep. X is also referring to a generation X in full, full in refer to a section of the population that was born somewhere between the early 1916. Six, 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 and You. great job Wendy so let's practice this word referred gen x is also re referred referred you got it gen x is also referred to as generation x in full and refers to the section of the population that was born somewhere between the early 1960s okay between the early 1960s and 1979 79. Yep. 79. That's more British. 79. 79. You got it. Thank you. Let's go with. There was working. Susan is working. Marilena. Yes. In Generation X is the demographic court. Uh, that follows baby boomers most are the of springs of the baby boomers generation two and X also precedes generation Y and was the victim uh, of with a spread change in societal values it, it is also re regarded, regarded as more self-sufficient and independent than its successor. Uh, continue. Nope, that's all, great job. So just a few things, and these are new words. These are new words, definitely. So cohort, cohort. Uh, X is uh, generation X is the demographic court. I wanted to do something here and I can't remember what. Okay, so Gen X is the demographic cohort that follows baby boomers. Most are the offsprings of the baby boomers. What do you understand by offsprings and cohort? Hello? Court, I think so. Like, um... Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, finish your idea, Marilena, so somebody else can can give us the answer. I think so. It's um, part of the time. Uh, maybe 
twenty and thirty is a court. That ten years. I mm. think so. Could be. Somebody else? You said something? Someone said something? Yes, like court is like a group. Yeah, it's a synonym of group. That's good. What about offsprings? In the context, mm -hmm. <laughs> I understand that um, baby boomers are parents of the generation X. Hmm. Like, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, of springs, I I don't I don't know the meaning. Of of springs is uh descendants. Descendants. That's a synonym of descendant. Okay. Good job. Uh, generation precedes precedes generation Y and was the victim of a widespread change in societal societal values. Societal values. Hey. In 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 this case, uh, these offspring, um, baby boomers is the dad, and the Gen X is the daughter, daughter or son. The opposite. Oh. <laughs> the other way around. Yeah, Generation X is are are the parents of baby of millennials, and wait, baby boomers are the parents of X generations. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe boomers. And before baby boomers, it was the silence generation. Silence generation. So, uh, super rápido. Voy a meter en este contexto para que todos estemos en la misma página. Eh, los, los de la silent generation vienen desde los 1920s, de los 20s, hasta que empezamos con esto, ¿no? Um, ¿Por qué se le llamaba la, la sociedad? O la generación silenciosa. ¿Alguien sabe esto? ¿Por qué se le llamaba la generación silenciosa? ¿No? Uh, no, no. The life and the kids uh, need silence. Don't talk. Because it's the war. Mm -hmm. So if two people, two adults are talking, you... Exactly. Por eso se les llamaba la generación del silencio, porque no contestaban, no rezongaban, no protestaban, solo hacían lo que tenían que hacer. Ya, yeah, Wendy. Sí, eh, I remember a generation, eh, my father is eh, niño de la guerra. Uh -huh. It's similar. It's different. Work it's it's um, no, Silent Generation was named Silent Generation because it was the generation of obeying, obeying. I mean, you you couldn't you couldn't say no to an adult. No le puedes decir que no a un adulto, for example. Uh, there were no TVs. There was no TV. Okay. There was radio, but you couldn't listen to radio. So always, shh. okay, respect. And then after, um, sorry, after the silent generation, we had the baby boomers. After the baby boomers, we have the X generation. And finally, the Y generation and the Z generation. There's like 20 years of gap in between each. Let's see, uh, baby boomers generation two. Gen X also precedes Generation Y and was the victim of a widespread change in societal values. Okay, pay attention to that. The Generation X was the victim of a widespread change in societal values. Why do you think Generation X lived such a hard time?
Nobody. Ok. Estoy tratando de aterrizar la idea de por qué la generación um, X fue víctima de um, un amplio o mundial cambio en los valores sociales. Think about it. 19, 19, yeah, 1960 to 1979. What happened in these years? Nothing? Okay. Civil wars. Train evolution? Train evolution. Yeah, there was some sort of evolution, but it was on transportation. There was on, on communication between 1960 and 1979. So for 20 years, the world changed. We had new transportation, new communication methods. So our society changed. Now, I don't need to go to Diana's house. I don't need to go to Norma's house. I can just contact her through Zoom and we can see each other. Just fine, right? That's the difference. Okay. Look at that. Um, it is also regarded as more self-sufficient and independent than its successor. So the X generation is more self-sufficient and independent. Okay. And the last one, Carlos, would you like to read please? The generation was also? Uh, yes. The generation was also referred to as the luck, lucky generation. But in the days, the name came up as a result of the ma massive reduction in parenting that the generation faced as they grew, grew up. They also went through, through, through increased divorce cases, less parental supervision, and increased child, child care options outside the home setup and more maternal engagements in the labor market. Good job. New words. Thank you, Carlos. Latsky. Latsky generation. That's a some sort of term. Yeah, la generación Yavin. La generación llave. Agarramos llave por todo. The generation was also referred to as the Latch generation, Latch key generation. Back in the days, back then, not now, not anymore. The name came up as a result of the massive reduction in parenting that the generation faced as they grew up. So, what is this saying that? We had more babies, you know? Oh, no, the opposite. Millennials no didn't... Babies. Yeah, no babies. No babies. It's it's amazing. You, you, have, you don't know. You have no idea how in Europe, in Europe, there are no churches anymore. They are using the churches as uh, pubs, you know, as cantinas. So the church is transformed into a pub, number one. Number two, there are no young people. There's no young people, you know, and, and new marriages, they don't want to have babies. They don't want to bring kids to the world. That's insane. That's crazy. Okay. Any other word? I think you're done. Okay. Engagement in the labor market. Okay. So this is basically it. That's like the difference with, uh, well, that's generation X. We still missing generation Y, which we have been discussing. Can somebody tell me what, what difference do you find with generation Y?
Hello. Okay, I know I lost you. Give me just a minute. Difference. Yeah, what's the difference with um, the generation Y? Mm -hmm. So, in other words, Generation X was born like not having a clue, right? Not having an idea of what they... Hold on. They faced a lot of changes. That's very clear. And that, that was the first generation that didn't want to have babies. They didn't want to. They just wanted to live their life. Their life. Now, we're talking about hippies, right? The Generation X, hippies. Is that true? Okay, I'm talking too much. So, lastly, I'm just going to read this so you can review the text. You can review the text later. So, the generation is this generation, generation Y, I'm talking about the Y generation. The Y generation, their meaning. So the generation is also referred to as millennials and it's associated, it's associated, give me just a minute, I screwed it up. Anyways, and it's associated with a considerably, 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 considerably charmed life. So again, the generation is also referred to as millennials and is associated with a considerable charmed life. The generation was born by some older generation, Xers and baby boomers. So baby boomers, generation X, they gave birth to millennials. Since their parents, mostly generation X, had access to advanced birth control methods, the kids were generally wanted and nurtured well. Hmm. Generation Y has also grown with more protection and shelter from their parents, older siblings, and the family at large. It is also the generation that generally looks at being independent at an early age and also value community. So what are they? What are the millennials? Do they really care about others? What do you think? I was confused teacher. I didn't know that generation Y was millennials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Y is the millennials. Xers are, you know, Xers. Xennials, and they, they belong to an earlier point in time, not more recent. And yes, right now at any job, you are facing this situation, you know, there is a gap, cultural gap between millennials and Xers. And that's, that's because Xers are giving orders right now at some major companies. Does that make sense? You know, very old people own their businesses. Makes sense, right? Because they worked their whole life to achieve that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like this. Uh, they, uh, Generation Y has also grown with more protection and shelter from their parents. They are overprotected. Yes. They were overprotected. So, no, 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 se va a caer el niño. No, 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 no. Right? With your first son or daughter, you do that mistake. You go like, oh, no, 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 se va a caer. You don't let them fall. You don't let, you don't, 
You don't let life happen to your kids. No deja que la vida le pase a tus hijos. And it's not okay. Okay. So, really quick, there are, there's a chart, you know, there's like seven different tips that we can follow, and that's what we have been looking at. So, I would like you to read a little bit about it. What's the difference between generation X and Y? And there is a comparison. For example, the definition varies. The shaping events, what cost, what created these two different generations? Um, the cost effectiveness and management, technological proficiency. There's a chart comparing both generations. So let me send you this really quick. I'm going to send you the link right now. And also the part that we need to study really quick. So you will start looking at the bottom in the middle. It will say difference between generation X and Y. And again, just read it and debate with your classmates, okay? So we can continue discussing these different uh, differences. Definition, shaping events, cost effectiveness. De nuevo, repito, para los que no entendieron, <laughs> vamos a leer cada uno de esos temas. Son, son básicamente cinco, y al final hay un pequeño uh, cuadro y un resumen de qué es la diferencia entre la generación X y la Y. And that's all. Just talk to the, to talk about this with your classmates. Remember the goal, the goal is for everybody to understand number one, number two, look for new vocabulary as we have been doing. Look for new vocabulary on that text, okay? Questions? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Let's make no, it simple. Good, so we're 11, let's go in trios to do this. Most people still would not tell what meat by Jones, or baby boomers or millennials. On the same note, the two most confused generation are Gen X and Gen Y. To separate to the two, uh, this post so to find all the distance features 
uh, that set apart Gen X from Gen Y. These will throw the recognition, swapping, events, the origin of the terms, and other factors. Okay. Mm. Explication or read all. First. <coughs> Mm, the new words. Explication and mm. read and uh, the explication and other person read or or what or who or. Yo creo que leamos primero, quizás, y después que tratamos de entender y vemos las palabras que son, las vamos viendo ahí cada quien, cuáles son las nuevas para cada uno. Ok. ¿La otra parte quién la lee entonces? ¿La leo yo? Oh. Sí. O oh, alguien más. Usted leyó hasta... Hasta factors, ¿verdad? Yes. Vale. Meaning of Generation X. Generation X, generation X is also different. Different. Ay, me olvidé. Different to as Generation X. In who, who in X refers to a section of the population that was born somewhere between the early night 1960 and 1979 as as of no the group is in the range of 40 and 54 years old and some are the parents of the millennial group. Generation X is the demographic force that follow baby boomers. Most are the old friends of the baby boomers generation two. Generation X also precedes generation Y and was the victim of a uh, one print change in societal uh, values. It is also regarded regard, regard, or more self-sufficient and an age with crowd their judgment, especially if they are in charge of older people. Okay, number five, technological profession. But generation have seen her an expansion. It's technology, but each at particular stage of development. Then why, however, takes technology and not higher? And it's proficient in is higher. Gen X, on the other hand, is inclined to the technology in a lesser way in world spend a fraction of their time online compared to Gen Y. Okay. Oh, yes, Gen X versus Gen Y operation table. I think this is a like a recent. Yeah, what is the meaning? 
en ex. Con un resumen. Es, es, es a resumen. A summary. Okay, so the characteristics, uh, the meaning. Gen X generational cohort born between the early 96 and 1979. And Gen Y demographic cohort born between the early 1980s and 1994. Origin of the name, name and Gen X. Name coined the Hungarian photographer in 1950. And then, why? Name coined in uh, 1987 by William Strauss and Neil Howe. Ho okay. Birth years James X. 1965 to 1979, and Gen Y to 1980 to 1994. Teach saving, uh, Gen X is a moderate teach saving and is a less. 19, after ni 1994 and maybe 2000, I don't know. That is the the range, the range of baby boomer. I think, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, the next one is teach saviness. Gen X is moderate moderately teach save savvy and is less concerned with deeper digging of such things as social media gen x prefers listening to the radio or watching the tv uh, gen y highly proficient with technology with most time spent spend online gen y would rather stream stream videos music and news from online platform rather than watch the telly or listening to the radio. Okay, economic discipline. Looks for better ways of generating income, but not good at cost efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Uh, the generation X and the generation Y less concerned with finances in general but are better at are better at, are better at cost saving okay so gen y is millennial or not um i think i i think yes yes so Gen Y is the same that millennials. Mm, yes. Yes, because uh, I remember that we read that uh, for the generation Y, uh, another name is millennial. In the first part, in the first paragraph, in the in the in the in the page on internet the it said that let's see um, mm -hmm. mm, let's see uh there there is a a meaning of gen x hi uh fair this continue uh, gen, gen Y is the different way, ways that people do things, respond to situations, and address them can be traced down to generational differences. In recent years, the issue of generational distinctions has risen, bringing to the lime, limelight 
the existence of names most people never knew of, of. as such most people still would not tell what meant by gen y gen x or baby woman Okay, so we only have about four minutes. Somebody, Jorge, if you want to help us or whoever wants to say something that you, from what you just read, what is the difference between Generation X and Generation Y? Uh, first of all, the range of the, of the year that they was born. They were? They were born. Mm -hmm. I remember in the article said that Gen Y, mm. they were born in 80s to 1994. Mm -hmm. It's a difference, but inside of the topic, they I, I remember they talk about the, let me, let me think. Uh, circumstances uh i i want to say something like uh they the gen y is more involved in the technology they are more adaptable mm -hmm. uh in, in the other hand gen x is like thinking kind of in the future and more stable i i believe mm, yeah yeah but you moved from technology i mean yeah generation x is like they don't know how to do an email sometimes mm -hmm. they struggle they struggle with technology they have a hard time with technology but generation y we we understand technology but still you know some things are impressive for me at least as a millennial i'm i go like oh, how do you do this right for example the 3d printing have you seen the 3d printers oh my god and my kid my 13 year old he goes like oh that's easy and you know they use this material and they put it this i was like <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> really i i never saw that uh... You didn't see it coming? No. No, 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 te, no lo viste venir. You didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, we, we were not expecting that. That's really impressive. I mean, they are building houses with 3D printing. Is I don't know. It's crazy. Okay, guys. I hope you read this article. I have a video for you. It's like eight minutes, you know, but we have some time. So please watch this video and just identify yourself si lo quieres ir adelantando porque va muy lento lo puedes hacer o puedes adelantar la velocidad también en youtube so the point is identify which generation do you belong to which generation do you belong to three two one there you go okay so there's the video on whatsapp go ahead and watch it we're gonna stay here just watch the video Quiero que me digas al final qué generación eres.
Let me know whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. Um, something that I found really funny was the idols. The difference between idols in um, millennials and next generation. In fact, baby boomers are my, my idols. <laughs> John Lennon, Mick Jagger, Bob Dylan. Really, teacher? Yeah, I prefer. Yeah, it's Rolling Stones. Mike, it's not Michael Jackson, Madonna. I love Michael Jackson's <laughs> movie too. I mean, music too, and also uh, Kurt Cobain, Madonna. Eh, yeah, some songs. You are avoiding Gen X. Yeah. <laughs> Regarding music, but but look at this: millennials, idols, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, and Taylor Swift. I've never heard their music as much as I listen to, yeah, Michael Jackson. Or even, the, I'm weird. I know, I know, you know, regarding music, I like the Platters, um, Polanka, old music. What about you, Jorge? Uh, definitely, definitely, I identify with Gen X. With the idols like Madonna, uh, Michael Jackson, and Kurt Cobain. Yeah, and when you get to idols on Generation Alpha, my daughter, I don't know what, <laughs> who who they are. You know, Ryan Kaji, Anastasia Radzinskaya, I don't know, and Brooklyn I, Prince. I... I believe I I believe that in that generation maybe they are Chinese people or yeah or I don't know how do you Middle East even Middle East this Ryan Kaji is is like Japanese maybe Anastasia it sounds like Chinese. Russian yes yeah that's I never heard any song of them and my my daughter doesn't hear that kind of music she doesn't listen to it any of this kind of music so yep cartoons oh my god i used to watch mickey mouse you know i'm not from the greatest generation <laughs> yeah the silent generation cartoons bugs bonnie tom and jerry donald the flintstones are pretty common in all the generation maybe you know what i noticed batman shows on every generation mm -hmm. <laughs> <So it's> like, <laughs> what okay guys i hope you can watch that video again it's very informative and it gives you a better idea of what to expect on each generation so i'm staying tonight with wendy for 10 minutes if that's possible 
Yes. Awesome. Good. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, guys, with better energies. Hope everybody's here on time. We we're too few tonight. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Good night. Good night. Cristian Nathalie Erazo Rogel. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Chereguino Martinez. Present. Good night. Good night. Diego Armando López Rivas. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vera Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Good night. Good night. Good night. Mario José Valle Castaneda, Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa, Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good night. Thank Good night. You. You're welcome. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Good. Okay, Wendy. So, how are you doing with the homework? ¿Cómo vamos con la tarea? How do you say? ¿Cómo se dice atrasada? Delayed. 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 Eh, el orden, como no tenía el orden de los, no había tomado el orden de los verbos que usted mandó, sino que estaba como con otra lista, con una lista que tenía por ahí. Entonces, ahora... Ahora hice el de como los primeros verbos que usted, usted ha puesto. Entonces, uh -huh. prácticamente este sería como de, de lunes. De empezar <ríe> de lunes, lunes sí. Uh -huh. Está bien. Acuérdese que no es, sí. de, no es de estresarse, ¿no? Uh -huh. eh, acuérdese que la perfección es una ilusión. <ríe> solo es, solo <ríe> sí. es una ilusión. Jamás vamos a ser perfectos, pero podemos intentar lo mejor que podamos. Okay. Al final lo, lo importante es que usted se sienta bien con que está haciendo algo a sí. comparación de no hacer nada. Sí. A mí me ocurre lo eso. Estoy, lo que estoy sintiendo, teacher, uh -huh. que estoy como escribiendo mejor, pero siempre me cuesta, siempre me cuesta como entender lo de las clases. O sea, el, el no sé por qué, o sea, el listening, la escuchar ajá, las indicaciones sí. y todo eso. Uh -huh. Ok, para eso solo hay una solución inconsciente y es escuchar inglés. Escuchar, 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 escuchar. sí. Solo eso, o sea, si no se escucha, pues se ven ponencias, se ven uh -huh. discursos en inglés que pues puedan ayudar a, a irlo entendiendo poco a poco. Eh, sí, prácticamente eso acuérdese lo que le decía no de de Ron Chang los videos a mí no digo las lecturas permítame Ron Chang ahora le voy a explicar rapidín esto del método de cómo se llama esa lectura no eh, es una página se llama Ron Chang ahorita aquí en el chat de Zoom Ahí en el chat de Zoom está. Ahí está en el WhatsApp también. Ok. ¿Qué es esto? Pues son audios. De, eh, de, son audios de conversaciones entre dos personas. Entonces. Uh -huh. Lo que le acabo de enviar es un índice que tiene subíndice. Es decir, usted le da clic a cualquiera de esos temas y le va a llevar a otros tantos subtemas. Ok. Este lo mandó en el WhatsApp. Sí, y aquí también en el chat de Zoom. Ese no lo veo en el chat de Zoom. Ah, pero en el WhatsApp ahí está. Sabe que nunca veo, no sé por qué. No me sale, me desaparece. Qué raro, ok. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo. Sí, pero en el WhatsApp de esta vez. Sí, ahí está. salen entonces, eh, sin discriminar, yo puedo elegir, darle clic a un tema y después darle clic a un subtema y lo que me va a aparecer es arriba, me va a aparecer un reproductor 
con el audio de, ese, de esa conversación. Y abajo me va a aparecer la conversación. Dice A, B. A, B. O sea, dos personas hablando. La persona A y la persona B. Ahora, paso uno. Yo elijo un texto y lo escribo a mano en un cuaderno, dejando una línea de por medio. O, o lo copio, lo pego en Word... Y lo imprimo. Como ah, salga, sí. Lo que le salga más fácil, lo que le salga mejor. Ahora, ¿qué voy a hacer con esto? Los primeros dos días, yo no voy a intentar hablar. Yo, yo voy a leer con la boca cerrada. Entonces, okay. Le voy a dar play al audio y voy a ir leyendo la hoja que imprimí o, o escribí. Sin traducir, esa es la regla de oro. No se traduce. Entonces, solo voy, solo voy escuchando y leyendo el texto que imprimí. ¿Por qué es importante esto que estoy haciendo, Wendy? Estoy haciendo que mi cerebro entienda que las letras que ella conoce, porque to conocemos todas las letras de inglés, ¿no? Entonces, el problema ahorita con nuestro cerebro es que está leyendo como ha aprendido hasta ahora. Ya, eh, por darle un ejemplo, déjeme elegir cualquier tema de aquí. Ay, señor, ¿dónde estaba? Speaking is easy. Vale, me voy a... Acá le voy a compartir el audio nada más. Uy, perdón. Este... So, vale, elegí cualquier audio entonces empiezo a reproducirlo How many classes did you manage to get? I only got two. I only got one. ¿Se ¿Sí escuchó? Vaya, esa es otra. Ahí puedo retroceder, darle pausa y retroceder otra vez. How many classes did you manage to get? How many classes did you manage to get? How many classes did you manage to get? Ahora esto es lo importante. Paso uno. Primer día. How many classes did you manage to get? Mi cerebro, ¿cómo va a leer esto? Si yo empiezo a hablar, se va a escuchar a sí mismo. ¿Ok? Ojo con esto. Entonces cierro la boca y solo leo. Aún así, mi cerebro va a intentar decir How many classes did you manage to get? Así lo aprendió, si esas letras ya las conozco, dice el cerebro. Así se lee. Entonces, cayó la boca y escucho y leo. Entonces va leyendo y mmm, después de dos días de estar haciendo eso sin abrir la boca, el tercer día empiezo a leer y escuchar, leer y escuchar, leer y escuchar, leer y escuchar. Quinto, sexto día, ahora bien, viene lo bonito. El quinto día yo me voy a dedicar a leer lo mejor que pueda. Y ya cuando yo sienta seguridad conmigo misma y digo, ah, bueno, ¿sabes qué? Ya, ya me sale bien, yo creo que sí. Agarro el celular para algo útil, Wendy, y me, y me grabo, y me grabo. En el quinto día. El quinto día. Quinto, no, el sexto, quinto, sexto día, va. Me grabé. Y aquí viene la mejor parte, la parte más importante es darle play a los dos audios al que yo grabé y el que está en, el, en, en la lectura, uno, dos, tres, si es posible, con dos aparatos, ¿no? Plug. ¿Por qué dije got one? Got one, espérame, pausa. ¿Qué es esto? I only got one. I only got one. I only got one. Y empiezo a criticarme. O me va a salir, o me va a salir lo opuesto, lo más chivo, ¿no? Hey, there are, all, there are too many full classes at this college. Dije, college. Me salió igualito, oh my God. Usted mismo va a decir, muy chica, Wendy. Muy bien. <risa> Crea, ver, se va a alegrar, a veces se va a deprimir un poco, no se preocupe, acuérdese, no existe. Hay, no existe la perfección, hay que, hay que luchar por hacer lo mejor que se pueda y usted ya empezó. Entonces, entre más rápido alcance la autocorrección, ya no me va a necesitar a mí ni a ningún profesor. Porque su propio cerebro va a empezar, hey, no, 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 no se dice, se, se dice at, the, at this point, at this point, no se dice at this point. O sea, 
él solo se va a ir corrigiendo. Eso fue lo que me pasó a mí de pequeño, pero no lo entendía. No entendía por qué. Y era que tenía la manía de cantar sin, sin interpretar lo que decía la canción. Luego, luego me pasó que empecé a traducir canciones y las que más me gustaban, no me gustaba lo que decía la letra. ¿no? Así de que ahora cuando oigo una canción que me encanta cómo suena y me relaja, ya no la traduzco. Entonces, ah. ya, no, ya no digo o sea, me, me quedo mejor medio entendiendo no quiero escuchar detall detalladamente la letra entonces ánimo agarre una cosa agarre el ritmo a una cosa y no lo suelte perfeccionelo que apéguese a eso y a cuando se sienta bien que entonces empieza a soltar usted sola sus propias estructuras ya y ya va a ver, poco a poco su cerebro va a ir diciendo, ¿no? Es así, así es, muy bien, hey, seguí. El solo, inconscientemente, el cerebro es muy capaz de, de aprender el idioma. Ok. Ok. Ánimo, gracias. pues, ánimo. Sí, gracias. Gracias por tu paciencia. No, pues, estamos <risa> para servirle. Good night, Wendy. Gracias, good night. Bless.